you guys aren't mining fractal Bitcoin with your solo miners, I don't know what you guys are doing. Because fractal Bitcoin almost seems like a cheat code. The It's like in the sweet spot. It's like the Goldilocks solo mining block. Because Digibyte is a little too easy. The payout is a little too small. Around a dollar thirty something cents. Bitcoin Cash being at around eight to nine hundred G's is pretty difficult, but the payout obviously is much better. But Fractal Bitcoin with a difficulty level of only 5.1 or 5.2 G's is definitely attainable, even with one of these Nerd QX plus plus miners or one Bidax. I've hit a Fractal Bitcoin with a Bidax 601 Gamma with only 1.1 terahash, and yeah this is my fourth block i found the third fractal bitcoin my very first block was digibyte and then i found three fractal bitcoins each fractal bitcoin gives you around 42 coins they're around 41 cents each so you're making around 20 dollars and four and 22 cents each sorry ten dollars and 22 cents each so i'm at just over 30 dollars in fractal bitcoin mined in about eight days and me having the highest electricity rate probably of anybody on YouTube during winter time right now we have great electricity rates which is around 30.8 cents per kilowatt I know some people might be thinking that's crazy but for us in California yeah that's good for us right now because in summertime it goes up to around 52 cents per kilowatt hour thankfully I do have a smart home panel and a battery backup with solar so that definitely helps but yeah it's always a uh, really exciting to see that you've hit a block and it's actually paying off and yeah back to the point you know everything on this table here is about 350 watts of electricity um, i have two avalon nano threes mining elsewhere but if you and I'm, my total is about 31 terahash, so minus about 8 terahash. And yeah, everything here, 350 watts. Maybe it will cost me 75 bucks in electricity with 30.8 cents per kilowatt hour. That is without solar. So during the day, right now it's winter time. The sun is not out much often out here in California, especially where I'm at. It's very foggy, so solar is not doing that well. But during the summertime... I'll have enough juice to power these during the day from solar and then my 12 kilowatt hour battery pack which is expandable you can do six kilowatts with every one of these that you add 12 kilowatts is a lot of storage for example if i have a setup here that is running 1000 watts which is one kilowatt i can run this setup for 12 hours straight which is a lot of power and usually enough to get you through the whole night but since this is only 350 watts uh, it can exceed 12 hours and it's UPS uninterrupted power supply meaning that um, during the specified time when the smart home panel um, takes over and stops pulling from the grid it does it um, like in less than one millisecond or three milliseconds which means everything keeps mining nothing shuts down and everything's uninterrupted and yeah I save a lot on electricity costs. Other than that, uh, it would be very difficult to do. And if you guys can see how quiet it is, I just turned these two off. The reason why is because the loudest thing on this table here is actually not any of these miners. It is this power supply with this fan right here. So I just wanted to take a little bit of load off of this power supply so I can record this video. But We'll go into, the, oh, one other thing I wanted to add before I go into the laptop. If you guys are trying to pick up a home miner, I noticed there's not a lot of people that ship in the U.S. And the ones that you can find for a decent price, they're usually shipping from China. And with China, you're going to get these heavy import custom duties taxes, which can be unexpected. Some Chinese suppliers will say that it's included, but some people report that they receive a customs bill still, which makes these units almost unaffordable. So what I've done is I've put in time, money, effort, and research into finding good quality products. I have a lot of units on order. I've set up a Shopify store 
I plan to provide these um, like the best miners. I, I'm solely focusing currently on uh, Axe OS open source products just because in my, my opinion, they're the best. Um, you have a lot of functionality. You can overclock them and you know mess around with them, have fun. Everything works in the Axe OS. You can see it in the Swarm feature, manage everything properly. In the future, when they come out with new miners, um, like the Octax, for example, which is something else we'll be carrying, um, you can manage it all under one uh, one portal, which is going to be the Axe OS. So yeah, if you guys are looking out, the website is actually already built. I'm just waiting to launch it, waiting for the products to get here. It should be here in about two weeks. As soon as it's up, you know, we have things like the BitAx Gamma GT800 and the BitAx 703. I got a Nerd QAx Revision 6.1s with the XT30 connectors. I have some of the uh, version one Nerd QAx++ coming in that have the barrel connectors for a really good price. And I have BitAx Gamma 601s coming in. So yeah, a whole bunch of cool little products. Um, I'm starting off small, so if you guys want to support the channel and pick up some mining hardware, I'm going to try to be very competitive with the pricing so you guys can have an easier time getting your hands on these things. And all of my products um, do have manufacturer warranty, uh, manufacturer warranty. Depending on the product, it either has three months or six month warranty, so that's not an issue you have to worry about and yeah excited to get that going and once that's up i'll definitely make a video and all of the miners i get in i will go ahead and review those for you guys but yeah now let's get into a little bit more detail that's where you can see all of the miners let me do a quick refresh i don't know why i hit refresh up there i could just hit refresh down here i'm getting some type of connection failure weird i don't know why that's happening but anyways we'll go into the portal for cryptex a lot of people ask what uh, mining pool i use and it is cryptex to mine mine fractal bitcoin so they have a 1.5 percent pool fee for solo mining which is honestly not that much at all that's it's very fair and yeah this is what cryptex pool dashboard looks like you can see i have 11 workers including those two avalon nano threes i was talking about uh, this number the 10 minute hash rate is pretty inaccurate i wouldn't really rely on that i will look at this this is a little bit more accurate 31.34 tera hashes is currently what i'm pushing you can hear that power supply uh ramping up right now so in case you guys don't know let me refresh this 7.49 percent solo effort i think we are still at 7.49 but what Solo effort means is essentially depending on how much, how many terahashes per second you have, there is by probability, there's a certain amount of time that you will have to hash for before you will find a block. That doesn't mean you will always find the block by 100%, but probability wise, you should find a block by 100%. If you find a block after 100%, that means you're unlucky. If you find a block below 100%, that means you are lucky. So for instance, if we go to my payouts, I'll go look at the blocks. Here's the first block I hit, which was on the 7th, which is about eight days ago. So I used 15.44% of my luck before I hit a block. And then five hours later, I hit another block and I only used 4.92% of my luck. This last block I won, there was some type of glitch. I think I was turning the miners on and off, so it wasn't really accurate. There's no way I used 21 million percent of my luck. That's probably like years and years. But, you know, I would say eight days, I probably used around uh, maybe 105, 110% of my luck. It did take me a little bit longer to find this block, but I did land two blocks in one day here, which kind of balances it out. So if we go back here, currently I am at 7.58 percent of my luck so you know it, it's pretty cool exciting to see this so if you ever hit something below 100 percent, that means you're doing really good anything above 100 percent, you're not you're not that lucky and what's really cool is here is you can see in time in 10 minute time spans how many valid shares you submitted so you can see i'm doing 12 5 7 11 10 some unlucky 10 minute sections i'm doing one you know when i'm doing really good 15 is like the highest that I've hit. You see some other people who are pushing like petahashes that are doing thousands every 10 minutes and they're finding blocks back to back. It's pretty crazy. 
And if you get lucky, if you keep finding blocks at around 15 to 20 to 30 to 50 percent luck, yeah, you'll have you'll have a good time mining fractal Bitcoin. So here's all my miners. Um, this number, the 10-minute hash rate, for some reason on crypt, uh, Cryptex, is always wrong, usually wrong. But this is uh, more accurate here. You can see how many valid shares I put in. Here's my miners. This is a Bitax, 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 Bitax. Two Avalon Nanos, 4.1 terahash each, and then third, three Nerd Q axes. Now, if you go to payouts on Cryptex, they only do payouts one time a day at uh, 6 p.m. I believe, or 8 p.m. Whatever this is in your time zone. So you can see my total payouts is 73.92 coins which is $30.86 and here's the blocks that I mined here's my payouts there's two payouts my first payout was 49.29 coins and then 24.62 so we can go to blocks here if I click on my most recent block that I found it will open up the mempool for fractal Bitcoin and this is the block that I found right here cool thing about fractal Bitcoin is you will find old a new block gets found with fractal Bitcoin much faster than Bitcoin I think it's anywhere from around like 10 to 30 seconds sometimes faster sometimes a little bit longer compared to 10 minutes with Bitcoin so there's a lot higher chances with a lower difficulty level to be able to find the block and then um, settings if you want you can change your payout threshold and I'll show you my uh, Unisat wallet here and you can see I have thirty point eight one dollars even though my high electricity rate it's pretty crazy I'm on the way of being profitable it's pretty crazy how probabilities works it's yeah it's, it's really fun so at the end of the day mining solo mining is not that big of a gamble if you have enough terra hash and you're mining something with low enough probability I'm sorry low enough difficulty the probabilities of you hitting a block is imminent you're gonna hit it eventually because let's say you pass a hundred percent uh solo luck if you're like at three four five hundred percent at that point it becomes more unlikely that you won't find a block compared to that you will find the block did i say that right it's more it's more likely that you will find a block compared to not finding a block because you've been hashing for so long that's just how probabilities work and yeah just wanted to show you guys solo mining is definitely still well and alive and one other thing i wanted to mention is if you are monitoring from ax uh os underneath the bit axis it will tell you if you hit a block underneath the nerd q axis it will not so i hope the devs make some type of update where you get the same type of message where it says it right underneath the name and then when you click on it on a bit axe you'll see falling confetti and says congratulations you hit a block on nerd qx even if you click on it it will not well let's see so the one that i hit is i hit a really good difficulty so right here 56.92 g's that is 10 times over what i needed to hit so this is the one that hit it and if i and these are all sometimes i overclock them but i bring them down well not the nerd q axis the bit axis but nerd q axis is always running stock i don't want to you know really overheat them so if I click on it, there's no way here, or at least I don't see anywhere that says that you hit a block. The only way to know is to use Cryptex and look at the dashboard or just look at your highest difficulty here. And the way to reset this on the NerdQX++ is to just hit the top button on the screen and then that will remove the uh, picture of the block found logo with the emoji. But honestly, I recommend just restarting the device because that way you can monitor your new best hash rate. I'm sorry, your new best difficulty that you hit. It's kind of, it's nice to be able to know that you're hitting higher and higher difficulty levels. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that it's still possible. You can still make decent income on mining solo, especially with Fractal Bitcoin. There's also big miners using Fractal Bitcoin and they're mining profitably. I don't know what their electricity rates is, but yeah it's just something i want to show you guys and keep at it if you haven't hit a block yet you definitely will all right guys next time peace